Hey guys, what's going on? Abby here. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today's video is all about Vow Disciple Raid, the final boss fight, Ralk Disciple of the Witness. I'm going to show you guys how to set up a rotation with your buff guys and your runners so that you can do this section very quickly and get to the boss even quicker. This is video from our day one raid and we were doing this on in contest mode because we were getting so sick of not getting to damage phase fast enough and having to do this all over again every time so this took us two minutes to get done a little over two minutes in contest mode you can do it in less than two minutes in non-contest mode you can speed through this phase and get up to the top to do damage a lot quicker so i'm going to show you how to do that i'm going to let this run play out in its entirety for the first two minutes here and then i'm going to go into detail of what we're doing so if you want to skip to that you're more than welcome to you can also see this is before we switched to a sleeper and we still had rockets going on so we were not optimized with our damage phase yet, but we were able to get there because we we're able to get to damage a lot quicker. So it wasn't as much of a pain to get to damage. All right, so the phase is already over. As you can see, the uh, buff is gone from my screen, but on day one, of course, we were being really, really cautious and staying back there, grabbing all my ammo and such, and we're good to go up top. All right, so we're gonna run it back, and I'm gonna show you everything that we did and how we got up to damage phase in two minutes. So let's go ahead and skip back to the beginning. So. We've got a few people here. I am a buff sharer as well as um, LTG here is a buff sharer. And then we've got Varrican and Chadley are our runners. To open the fight, our runner is shooting the top crystal to prevent us from getting pervading darkness. Once you step on that glyph, you guys may have missed it because it went so fast. Once you step on that glyph there, you can see Varrican has the buff because he's glowing orange. Once he steps on this plate, that now spawns in these crystals here and LTG and Chadley who's over here are gonna shoot the left and right crystal. The sharer always shoots left and the runner is always gonna shoot right. That's just how we do it to make it easier and simple. So you can see them both shooting the crystals and then Lance is gonna get the buff. All right, so now that Lance and Chadley have the buff, Chadley's gonna run over to the lasers here and get emanating. This allows him to go into the bubble and dunk the symbol while the ad clearers are clearing these glyph keepers. And you can see I got the leeching force buff because when they um, shot it, when Lance and Varrican shot it, Varrican got leeching and I got leeching. So now I have it, Lance doesn't have it. And now Varrican and Chadley have emanating because Varrican just got into the lasers got emanating so now Chadley and Varrican are both dunking their symbols which the rest of the team is communicating where that symbol is they shot the crystals we shared the buff again and it just goes back and forth shooting the crystals sharing the buff the people with leeching that are going to be runners Varrican and Chadley in this case they are stepping in front of the laser as soon as possible and they're dunking as soon as possible then as they go back they're shooting the crystal with Lance, who's our other sharer, and now he has Leeching Force. So now he would go to the glyph, the glyphs appear, I shoot the glyph, the other runner shoots the other glyph, they get into the laser, they go dunk. It's a pretty simple rotation. It goes really fast though. You have to be on your toes if you have that buff that you need to stand on the glyph so that your teammates can share it. And then vice versa, if you are supposed to be shooting the crystal, make sure you shoot it. It stays up there as long as the person is standing on the glyph. If they have to get off because the laser is coming down the center and they don't want to get emanating force, if you are a sharer like me or like LTG, you want to remove yourself from that plate so that you don't get hit by the laser. 
then people will have to reshoot the crystals if um, you didn't finish shooting them. But that's the only reason really that you would need to worry about getting off the middle plate or obviously if you're taking too much damage from the ads. That is how you uh, double dunk basically and share the buff around to two different runners so that you can get to damage phase faster. Uh, this was on day one we were doing this. It just makes it so much easier to get up here to uh, damage phase and not have to deal with all the ads and going through that phase. It takes under two minutes. As you guys can see, in normal mode, you can kill the glyph keepers a lot faster so you can get through um, the ads a lot faster as well. But hopefully that helped you guys out. I wanted to put that out there because I heard that people are starting to do this strat. So I wanted to explain it and how we were uh, doing it and have been doing it to make it easy for us to share the strat with our friends and with other people that we're running the raid with. And it seemed to work out pretty well. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.